Alright, so in this video, I'm teaching you how to use the pathfinding service in Roblox to make NPCs walk around. So, what I'm going to be doing is making this dummy walk to a part. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert a part, and I'm just going to move it over here, and I'm going to call it move to part, because that is where we're going to be moving the NPC to. So this is my NPC, and he is going to be walking over to here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this script I've already made, so just make a script and serve script service. And now, first of all, I'm going to make a few variables. So, the first variable I'm going to make is for pathfinding service. So look up PFS for pathfinding service equals game colon get service. Pathfinding service. And then local dummy equals game dot workspace dot dummy. Because, you know, that's my NPC. And then where I want it to go. So local part equals game dot workspace dot move to part. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a path for this pathfinding service. So I'm going to do that is local path equals pfs colon create path. And now I need to compute this path. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that is path colon compute async and then a pair of brackets. And then in here we need to put the current position and then where we want it to go. So dummy dot humanoid root part dot position and then a comma and then the part dot position so now what we can do is for underscore comma waypoint it pairs path come on get waypoints the pair of brackets do and then dummy dot humanoid come on move to and then the pair of brackets then waypoint and then dummy dot humanoid dot move to finished come on wait no pair of brackets oh sorry i forgot i need to make make waypoint dot position rather than just waypoint also you need to make sure that all of the parts inside of our dummy are non-anchored so now if we run our game you'll be able to see that our dummy walks to our part and then if i go back out of studio and if I make some obstacles to get to the part, so I'll just make a staircase. And I've also made the part a different colour, so you can see where the AI is trying to go. So now, if I just run this, you'll be able to see that our dummy now correctly pathfinds to our part. So it doesn't matter where you put it, it doesn't matter if you put it between two ends of a maze, the NPC will find a path and it will walk to it. So, that was how you make pathfinding with NPCs in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time.